the moment someone says you shouldn't do that I really want to do it or they say well you should do so and so it usually makes me want to run in the opposite direction so I'm making this week's film with a little trepidation because I want to tell you three bad habits that I really want you to avoid I'm also actually going to throw in a fourth because it's probably the most important one of all. My name is Liz Chatterton. I'm a professional watercolour artist based in Berkshire and every week I do a tip, trick or technique that I wish someone had told me about ages ago. And this week it's three things to avoid. Right, bad habit number one. And I can't even bring myself to demonstrate this to you. But the other day I was watching a really well-known, really good German urban sketcher and the first thing he did on his film was lick his paintbrush and he looked so pleased with himself he said you know if you lick your paintbrush it comes to a beautiful point and I was like no please don't lick your paintbrush just think so I mean this obviously is, is still dirty and it's been in and out of water even if you clean that in clean water there's probably paint stuck in there. Think about cobalt, think about cadmium. These are heavy metals that we get in our watercolours. Generally, our watercolours are non-toxic. But also think about that's been in and out of water. There's probably fungal spores. There's probably bacteria. You know, if you want to shape it to a point, just use your fingers. Or a piece of kitchen towel. And we can still get a nice point on it. Second thing, please don't use mud. Look at the colour of that water. And I suddenly think, oh yeah, 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 I want to um, have something yellow. Mm, no. If you mix with contaminated muddy old water, guess what you're going to get? You're going to get muddy colours. So change your water often and actually have two pots of water. Have a clean water and a dirty water. So one pot you clean off your brush and a little sort of figure of eight type motion is nice for getting the paint out. And then you have clean water that you mix your colours with. I know that isn't clean but there you go it's cleaner than that. While I'm talking about water and pots do just pay attention to your actual pot. Gosh I've used these for years and every so often I do clean them out because you end up with muck around the rims and even if you're using dirty water and then you're clean water you end up maybe picking up stuff from around the rims so do clean your water pots. Please don't leave your brush standing in the water. In acrylics you've got to leave your brush standing in the water because if the acrylic paint dries on, on the brush there's nothing you can do about that. But that's not a problem in watercolour. If you leave your watercolour brushes standing like that, that poor tip is going to get bent over and it may get stuck like that. You might be able to redeem it, just depends what your, your bristles are actually made of. but they can get stuck like that, you lose your point. The other thing is the water will seep up under that ferrule and it'll eat away at the glue and corrode the ferrule and you might find it actually comes away. And then the third thing, and this doesn't matter so much, it's aesthetics, but the water will get under the paint and it'll all start to flake off. When you dry it, if at all possible, dry it point side down and any water will actually come out. If not, just dry it flat and it'll last a lot, lot longer. I've just started a Facebook group so that people who've done courses with me or read my books or something, they can, they can all share their artwork and we can have a lovely community. And if you want to join that, I'll put the link in the, the comments. Well, people started posting their art and it was fantastic, beautiful work. And someone said, oh, I'm not going to post my art. Everything here is too good. And that's so sad. Try not to compare yourself with other people. We've all been painting for different amounts of time. 
we're all for different reasons. Your art is just as good as anyone else's. Why you paint art is just as valid as anyone else's reason. So paint and enjoy it. And yes, be inspired by other people, but try not to compare yourself.